And I feel like the adaptation that he shows in uh, like tempo-based matchups, I, I feel like we see like some really good adaptation there. Because last time he fought a uh, Greninja in Tigre and really had a great time in game two. And Ike kind Mega? of a similar, kind of a similar quandary of you know once once you find their tempo, they're having a terrible time. Mega. I know it worked that fourth time that he threw out a B ether, but it was not working out for him the first three times he threw out <laughs> on that ledge. Oh, bye. And yeah, you're dead. That's the thing about Ike. You can definitely just throw a banana and Ooh. inch him further and further away from the blast zone or from the ledge. And eventually, that ether oh, is not going to do anything. No. Mega, Mega, what were we cooking? What, what was what, he cooking? What were we cooking? They're having a great time. I mean, Mega is one of those like one of those players that just like I'm here for a good time. Like mm -hmm. I've never seen this man actually get frustrated. He's just big chilling. And Joe J is out here with the Diddy, knowing like the text in the text in um, in this matchup. You know, knowing like Ike push push him off the stage. Yeah, just push gently him into, nudge him. Just nudge him, and he cannot come back. <laughs> but Mega has to be really careful throwing out these LPs. I know there is of course um, armor through of course the first few frames of the Aether. But when you're doing it on ledge for so, so many times in a row, it becomes predictable knowing what you're going to do and if you have a lack of iframes as well, you know? So really good on Joji for actually manipulating that mo that situation into his favor. And then so, and, and then now we have a game, a game two, and Joji's up one. Yeah, I'm very excited to see a, a game two Joji. Now that Joji has that adaptation, has the download unlocked on, on you know, a very tempo-heavy character like Ike, Gonna see how things are working out, and so far it's working out very well. And I guess you again be careful with using those upbees at the ledge like that. I know they can drift away back to you know have a little hedge hang, but guess what Diddy has? He has two rare abilities. Which is really not scary. Be taking it just yet, not able to find the forward air either, and Mega able to air dodge his way back into center. Back air trying to air up at the stage. No jump means you are dead. Yeah, I think Mega was holding out on that back air, hoping to not be hit by it, but instead just DI'd to his death. Okay, Mega's playing this as if he doesn't have any platforms to deal with. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's using up beat and he's laying on the platform instead of his opponent. And JoJ is using it to his full advantage. He's just JoJ is completely waiting on everything that, that Mega does because it's so punishable. Like that. And then I think you might just be dead. Yeah. yeah. That was such a good trade on Joje to trade with the like the top spinny hits of Aether. Mm -hmm. Put Mega in a terrible situation. Even with a jump, that was a stock. Oh, this banana. You might be dead. Well, yeah, you have it. You're back to stage, but what can you do? Neutral, get up, avoid the banana, another Aether. Back off. Literally said six feet. No, six feet. No fly zone here. The banana? Ooh. Up there into beautiful downer to avoid the situation and get Joji a little bit off of Mega's tail for a second there. Another, Another up beat. But Mega's... he's a whole stock deficit. Yeah, finally on the board, but is it too little too late? I'm gonna see if Mega can use that new stock to find some find some momentum in his favor. Joji was literally just walking mm -hmm. up towards Mega. He's just like, approach me, I dare you. You're going to up beat, I'm gonna punish you. Putting the fear into Mega right now, but Mega thus far showing no fear, getting some good damage on JoJ thus far, so not quite out of the realm of possibilities. What spacing by JoJ to just get around that neutral air? Okay, oh, how do you just put out that up there right there? Then and then we have a one to one stock game. Hello? Ooh, okay. Mega is trying to get his, finally getting his, uh, his kind of tempo going back, and we're going, we're going into Ooh. a lot of fair territory. Oh. 57% now on Joje, and the rage is building for Mega. And Mega has, you know, has finally been able to play on center stage. Joje has not gotten one of those, like, really high value uh, ledge traps at mm -hmm. all recently. Mega wisely avoiding, avoiding all the banana setup stat. Joje is trying to aim for the down to down to into up smash. That's game. Oh, and some. Not great DI on that up smash. Unfortunate for Mega, and that is going to be Joje taking things 2-0. Unfortunate for Mega was finally bringing it back to a more even game, to a more digestible situation that he could actually come out on top and get this, get this, get this to a game three. But 
it's the habits that he refused to kind of get rid of, i.e. the constant uppies on ledge or constant uppies trying to drift back to ledge. Um, getting two frame, and once he was finally able to get that center stage, oh, he was cooking. He took two stocks in like cooking. a minute. It was so good. But once he lost control of that center stage, it was kind of over for him. He only yeah. took 26 damage that stock. It was great. He was absolutely cooking. He was cooking. Ooh. It was but right yeah, here. One. The pair, the f literally Ooh. flawless block attack. That was flawless. That was great. Why did he go straight up like that? He might have been DIing the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, once he saw down to down to clap, clap, and then gone.